Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I would like to show you a new collection of magazines that have arrived to me. Um, these are very, very, very rare. I don't do these videos anymore, but the reason I thought I'd share these is simply because of the rarity of these videos. And I am super excited. Um, for example, here we have Your Physique from 1941. Now, these uh, magazines from Your Physique are so rare that this is the first time I've ever seen them on eBay uh, when I purchased them. And um, this is one of Joe Waiter's, if, if you'll understand, that uh, Joe Waiter began Your Physique in 1940. He only came out with two issues that year. And later in 1941, he only came out with, I think, four or five issues. And these actual two uh, from July, August, and September, um, yes, yeah, August, September in 1941. Really, really rare. Um, they easily go for hundreds of dollars each if you are lucky enough to find them. And um, yeah, I just can only wonder what kind of information lies within. I'm hoping that they are complete, and I think they are. And there's a great photo of Joe Wader, real, real young. So we'll just quickly go through this collection. That's, uh, again, some really, really old stuff. I have to be very careful with this stuff. I also have now in possession 1942 Your Physique. Look how young um, Dan Lurie is here. This is one of his earliest photos, I believe, taken as a teenager. Extremely rare magazine um, from 1942. Another awesome shot here is of Sigmund Klein. I mean, he's sitting on a Roman column there. Sigmund Klein later opened up his gym called Klein's Gym, which was a literal museum when you walked in there of globe dumbbells and kettlebells and all sorts of things um, from the Milo Barber Company. Uh, again, these are so, are so old. I think there's one currently selling right now for about 200 US dollars. That's how, that's how rare these are. Uh, again, never, almost never seen on eBay. I, I've been on eBay for... Yeah, 15, 20 years and I've never seen them and I got lucky to find one, finally. Uh, these are from now 1943. Really old exercises again. Check it out. There's a chest expansion courses and all these other things that I'm probably going to share with you in the future from 1943. The earliest magazines from Joe Wader. And finally, Dan Luria looking a lot older now in uh, 1944, June, July. So these are very, very rare, and I'm finally, finally, am starting to complete my Your Physique collection. I only have a few left to collect from the early 1940s. Now I'm going to show you some real treats here. We've got Iron Man. Look at this early photo of John Grimmick. This is only volume six of Iron Man. Again, extremely rare. You can see it's tattered here. Uh, the, the, the front page is not so great, the cover, but... Again, some seriously, oh wow, I love it when I get these things, these little extras that you find inside. These are like, just, uh, you know, getting an extra present. Oh, so we've got an Iron Man extra sheet and lifting news. So lifting news from the very early 1940s, amazing. So this magazine, from what I understand, is from around the very early 1940, like, I don't know, 1941, 1942, something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, these are very, very old magazines. Again, this is the following one, volume six, number three, with Elias, Elias Rod Rodriguez. I think they've got that wrong. Probably R R Rodriguez. This is how old these Iron Man mags are. Here we've got Eugene Sandow on the cover. This is how old we are talking about. Very, very old magazines of Iron Man. Don't know who that guy is, but it's going to be an awesome read either way. Zabo, <laughs> Mr. Abs from the late 1950s, and of course Bill Pearl. A lot of people have been asking me, can we see stuff on Bill Pearl, Bill Pearl? That's when he won the Mr. Universe. Very old magazine, again. Doing the bent press there, doing the bent press. Yeah, with some ridiculous weight. With 345 pounds, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you can read it yourself. Here we have, it's Al Binert again. This photo shows him bent pressing 345 pounds. 
ridiculous strength. Ridiculous strength back then. It's incredible. What happened to us? What happened to us men? God damn. 345 pound bent press. Jesus Christ. Okay, that's Iron Man and your physique, but it doesn't end there. I've got a massive collection this time. We've got Muscle Power and Muscle Builder. I'm trying to complete my collection. Muscle Power. Yes, I've almost finished it. I've got one magazine left to finish off my collection of Muscle Power. Here we have Leah Roberts, looking phenomenal. Alan Stefan. Uh, yeah, I mean, Muscle Power is, is coming um, to my channel. I'm going to start doing... A lot of reading on Muscle Power soon and bringing you a lot of articles, more articles on the Silver Era. Here we've got Clarence Ross and none other than Jack Dellinger. Amazing, amazing magazines from back then. That's Muscle Power. Muscle Builder, which followed Muscle Power. Here we've got Clarence Ross, again in the 50s. A very uh, risque photo of Clarence Ross. I won't go into that. Awesome, awesome, Larry Scott. Now I've actually got a double of this one and I might be selling it um, to watch out on my communities page. Uh, yeah, that's Larry Scott. Oh man, this stuff is just gold. This is absolute gold, Larry Scott. Damn, I love it. Jack Dellinger on the back cover. Muscle Builder 1964, I believe, from April, with original <laughs> money order. That's great. I love that stuff. Dave Draper. Damn, this is so cool. And, of course, the last one. This is beautiful. Bill McArdle. Wonderful blonde bodybuilder from the past back then. There he is there, Bill McArdle. Oh, that's going to be an awesome, awesome magazine to read. Yep. That's the golden era book one for you. Always getting these really old mags and learning more and sharing more. That's what I do. That's what I love. Hope you've enjoyed watching this new video on another acquisition from the golden era bookworm. More rare magazines, uh, articles I'll be reading and uh, probably sharing the information that I find within uh, as I always do. Um, hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Bookworm. Thanks for watching. Leave me a comment. Uh, if you want to support further acquisition of these magazines, which I then share the information found within, please donate via PayPal. Become a patron on www.patreon.com forward slash Golden Era Bookworm. Or you can find some courses that I'm selling on my website, www.goldenerabookworm.com. Anyway, that's it. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now.